Hello, my name is Crystal Descent, and I will be presenting on a review of the implications of drought on the health sector in the Caribbean region. As many of us may know, climate change is already affecting the Caribbean region in many ways and is expected to exacerbate drought risk in particular. We are already experiencing more prolonged region-wide events and the Caribbean has faced significant challenges arising from droughts, most notably the 2013 to 2016 drought. This can have debilitating effects on the health sector in the absence of adequate coping capacities. So to explore what this means for the region, we undertook a structured literature review to establish the linkages between drought and its implications on the health sector. This was done in three stages. First, a time frame for the literature of 10 years was established, ranging from 2011 to 2021. We then searched relevant databases and selected targeted publications for review. These included the Global Assessment Report on Drought, the Informed Risk Index, and the Health and Climate Change Country Profiles by the World Health Organization and PAHO. Finally, a framework was developed which mapped the risk, drought risk, to the associated impacts on the health sector. The review found that reduced rainfall and rising temperatures have led to an increase in the incidence of drought within the Caribbean region. This has resulted in the increased prevalence of water shortages, wildfires, food shortages, flooding, and heat waves, which have had a direct impact on the incidence of diseases. The increase in climate sensitive diseases can therefore affect our ability to achieve good health and well being as it relates to Sustainable Development Goal 3. So here we have the framework that was developed through this research. It illustrates the cascading impacts of drought on the health sector. Firstly, we see that drought links to health risk factors such as water scarcity, reduced air quality, and fires. It also leads to morbidities resulting from vector-borne respiratory infectious and nutritional diseases, fire injuries, as well as heat strokes, which tend to affect primarily the elderly and young children. Both of these then lead to long-term health outcomes and socioeconomic impacts that ultimately compromise health system resilience. So what we learned from this research was that droughts affect the social and environmental determinants of health, including access to potable water, clean air, and food. Water scarcity can also lead to malnutrition as a result of reduced agricultural productivity, disease outbreaks from improper storage of water, as well as poor sanitation and psychosocial challenges. Drought related impacts can affect the health system resilience and impede activities that promote and protect population health. While it is difficult to quantify the costs associated with droughts, the economic implications can limit the financial capacity to invest in sustainable health systems. Therefore, the direct and cascading impacts of drought ultimately hinder the goal of ensuring healthy lives and promoting well being. Thank you for listening.